Hello, hello, this is Robin Sampson with BibleJournalLove.com. Today you're going to watch me Bible Journal digitally. We're going to Bible Journal from the lesson that I just taught in Exodus. Part of my lesson included this slide, and I just wanted to go over it quickly. When you're deciding which verses you will journal, and this was at the last slide at the end of my lesson, we happen to be in Exodus 15 through 18. First, you pray for wisdom. This Bible journal page is a documentation. It's something that you're writing down that's going to be available forever. You want to know, make sure that you're doing what God wants you to do. This isn't just for you. It's for your future you. Could be in a week from now or two weeks or two years or ten years that you're going to run across the same information and it will encourage you and remind you of the lesson that you just learned. It's also for your children or friends or family. It might be for a grandchild or a great-grandchild. You don't know. So pray and put some thought into what you're about to do. In this passage, it happens to be Exodus 15 through 18, but I always tell you to read the passage. Highlight the passages that speak to you when you're reading. Then you have to decide, are you going to do it physical or digital? Today, we're going to do a digital page that we'll probably print out and put in a traveler's notebook so it'll be actually a hybrid page, a combination of physical and digital. And then in a Bible or a notebook. Today we're going to do a traveler's notebook background and then what images are available. Here are the images available in this class for the Exodus era God's provision 3-1-E. And there are quail and manna, and I want to do quail and manna, and also I wanted to do water and the rock. And those are all available, so I know I have them. So that's what I have in mind. I don't have it planned out. I just have in mind what I want to put, but I don't know how I'm going to put it. If you run out of room when you're Bible journaling in a Bible, you can always make a tip in or a tag, which is a little piece of paper that you washi tape into your Bible. And this is the chapter that we're doing, Exodus chapters 15 through 18, God's Provision. I chose this Traveler's Notebook background out of the three that are available in the class because it looks like sand, like a desert. I've loaded some of the images that I want to use in the photo bin. So I want to go ahead and pull a few up. I want to show the manna. And we can have the manna raining on the page. I'm going to duplicate that by hitting Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. So we have lots of manna raining on this page. Putting a drop shadow on it. And I want the word God provides. Make the manna a lot smaller. I'm going to go ahead and shove all this down here because I want that to be like the second step. And I wanted to put up here that the people were grumbling. And I want to be sure to include the rock with the water. Now the water came in behind the rock, so I hit Command, right bracket on a Mac, Control, right bracket on a PC to bring it up on the layers palette. And now the same thing is happening with the succulent, and I just hit Command, right bracket, a couple times to bring it up to the front. I want to add this quail. For now we'll park him right here.
I'm going to open up Exodus uh, 15 in Bible Gateway. The first part of Exodus 15 is about the song of Moses and Miriam, but the second part is about the waters of the Mara, the bitter waters. So let's look at 16, which is about the manna and the quail. And I wanted to do the verse where the people were grumbling. If only we had died in the Lord's hand in Egypt, where there were pounds of meat and all the food we wanted, but you have brought us in the desert to starve the entire assembly to death. So I think I'm going to put that, which is Exodus 16, 3, as the verse. And I think there's a speech bubble in here. So let's go to the draw and click on the rectangle and bring down here to the shape, the little odd shape, and look through here to see if there's a speech bubble. Yeah, talk bubbles, they call them. And let's just do this one. So I just wanted to note that they were complaining. I'm going to change this to a different font. Command A on a Mac, Control A on a PC to select all the text. And then we're going to look at some of these fonts. Now one way to do it is to highlight the font in the text box and then to scroll through the fonts. Make it a little bit bigger so we can see it better. We want something that looks complaining. Okay, I like this. Noteworthy bold is the font. I'm going to tilt this a little bit. To do that, I go outside of the bounding box until I get these two little arrows and then just twist it up. And I thought it might be cute to do a few more grumbling and complaining because I did a lot of it. So let me make another complain and then make the second one a lot smaller and put it over here and duplicate the grumble, make it smaller. It's almost like living with teenagers. Duplicate the complaint. To duplicate, Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. Duplicate this grumble. But then, God provides. And I'm going to put a little note here. In His mercy, God provides. Let's make that bigger. And I'm going to make it blossom. This is a script I like. But in His mercy, God provides, and that's going to get a little bit of a drop shadow, way too much. Go to the Layers palette, show you how to change that. Click on this FX, and let's bring down that drop shadow. let's put a frame around this picture and to do that I'm going to go to the draw palette and click a rectangle let's put a rectangle right around that image we're going to make it a different color in a minute we've got to drag it underneath the picture and then put a drop shadow let me get this drop shadow on the God Provides and copy it, copy the layer style, 
I'm going to add that to this image. And this quail needs a drop of shadow. And this quail could be little like he fits in the picture, but I kind of like him over there on the side. I'm going to leave him right there. There's another quail in the kit that I could add too. And this paper, we're going to go over to the papers. The Exodus papers and find one with a little bit of color to put on that frame. And now this frame, this blue paper on the layers palette is over the shape 2, which is the frame I made. So let's make the paper smaller. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this. I'm just trying it for the time being. And let's do a clipping mask. Create clipping mask. And now we have a frame, a blue frame for this image. And since this image had so much of the desert colors in it, I thought the blue kind of opened it up a little bit. So we already have the first part where they were complaining. You might want to include Exodus 16 there so that we know what we're doing. And then in Exodus 17, I believe it's either, let me go look real quick, I can't believe, remember if it's 17 or the last part of 16. It's going to be 17. They get water from the rock. And then they were complaining again. So the first half of 17 is when they got water from the rock. So what we could do, this would be cute. Okay, this, the bottom page, is light locked. So I can go in here before I do, let me grab all these grumbles and put a style on them, which is more than I wanted. So I'm going to click fix that. These are smaller pieces of paper. Okay, now I'm going to use that one on all of these. Okay, now what I'm going to do is select this whole section. Now remember the bottom's locked so it won't be included. And I'm going to group this. I want to group it for two reasons, and this is how I check it. It might be a silly way to do it, but I checked this little eyeball. Did I get all the groups? Yes, I did. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate it, Command-J, and I want to put over here also that they grumbled, and I want to do the In His Mercy God Provides, group that, Command-J or Control-J on a PC and pull them over here and show again that God provides. He provided the manna and the quail and then he provided the water from the rock. But what I need to change is the grumbling and complaining because this is a different grumbling and complaining. So if you open up the group and just select, if you right click on the part you want to change, it'll come up. And here it says if we had only had died, and that's this one. So I'm going to change that. I have to go to Exodus 17 and copy their complaining. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to make our children and livestock die of thirst? That's Exodus 17, 3b. So I want to double click that on to select all of it. I double clicked on the layers palette, the little T, and I'm going to control V to paste it. Why did you bring us out of Egypt? 
to make our children and livestock die of thirst. And there's more room there, so I'm just going to make it, that text a little bit bigger. There we go. And then the In His Mercy God Provides, I think I'm going to ungroup that and center it, align it, middle, that looks better. And the same thing over here, ungroup it, or you can center it in the group. The Bible references here. And that can be a lot smaller. And we're going to make that that note font. And over here, I'm going to duplicate that one. Bring it over. Actually, 16.3. And the God Provides could be smaller and fit, but I liked it over a little bit bigger because that's the whole point of this, <clears throat> that in his mercy, God provided water from the well, water from the rock, and manna for, and quail from heaven. I decided I wanted a title over both of these, so I'm going to make these a little bit smaller. And because they're a group, they're going to be real easy. I can make them all small at the same time. I grabbed the, the control handle on the top right corner and pull it down while I hold the shift key to make sure that it doesn't get all wonky and select that and then I want to call this between Ilium and Sinai they're in the desert of sin between Ilium and Sinai and that desert of sin is not does not mean sin the way we think of sin that was in the lesson it's part of the Hebrew letter Sheen So I'm going to make a title here. And I think I'm going to use that font. I'm not sure yet. Twenty four was fine. I want to just fit that in here just so we know where it is. And then let's go make sure I can spell this correctly the other place in Exodus 17. Rephidim, where they were camping. Then I have to make this grumble smaller. Now the difference between, let me go down here into the, and talk about this for a minute. In His Mercy is a font that is on the page and has no shadow. Please do not put shadows on fonts. In His Mercy is a font, no shadow, it's flat on the page. It's probably the biggest mistake I see in new people who just start working with digital scrapbooking or Bible journaling digitally is they put fonts, drop shadows on everything. God provides, however, is word art. It looks like a sticker, it has an outline around it, and it looks like it's sitting on the page that you've pushed it on the page. In fact, this sticker is a little bit too big. I'm going to bring it down even more. I'm going to bring the opacity down. And it looks more like a sticker. And I'm going to copy that layer style and put it on the God provides over here, too. Yeah, that looks better. 
and I'm going to give this water a drop shadow. And the rock. That's probably too much. Let me go to the rock and put the same layer on it as I have on God's Provides. If you get lost where you are in the layers palette, right click on the, the object like the rock and it'll pop up the name of it and then you can click on it and then you'll see it. It's highlighted in the layers palette and that was way down at the bottom. So I'm going to paste that layer style and I'm going to paste that layer style on this succulent. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I think another succulent would look good behind that rock maybe. Cactus. Now let's put some washi on there to give it a little bit more color. I'm not going to use it on this one, but here's a cluster. And I just wanted to show you these clusters are made specifically to fit, if we didn't have that title there, to fit on the top of a Bible journal. Traveler's Notebook page, but this just doesn't fit on this page. Oh, another thing I wanted to put, the, the reason that they called it manna is because in Hebrew, the word what is it is manna. So I want to put what is it over here that the girl is saying. You can even duplicate that again. I'm going to speed this next section up a little bit. I'm just putting down the washi tape and adding a drop shadow. Then I'll copy that drop shadow and put it on the new pieces of washi tape. And I added the word trust. I did a few tweaks that were not recorded, so I just want to point those out to you. I added a stroke around the speech bubble here, and the way you do that is you go to the styles, and up here on this menu, go to strokes, and then just click that button, and that'll add a stroke as long as you have that layer selected. I also um, grouped a few things over here, and I changed this background to a yellow frame. And I made the washi tape a little bit smaller, put it on a wood background with a few clips, and that's about it. So I'll see you in the Facebook group. I can't wait to see your pages. Bye-bye.